What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new treadmill by Mobvoi. This is the Treadmill Pro. It's the second edition to their original standard edition treadmills. You're probably wondering, why is this one called the Pro? There's quite a lot of upgrades and features that I wanted to showcase to you guys. It has more features inside the treadmill itself. It has a slightly upgraded design, but one of the key differences in this one is that this can also connect via Bluetooth to your Android smartwatch. So if you do have an Android smartwatch that uses Google's Wear OS, then you can connect the data from the treadmill directly to your watch when you are running on the treadmill itself to track even more accurate performance metrics. In today's video, I'm gonna just unbox this, showcase to you guys how to set it up. If you don't have a Android smartwatch, you can just use this as a very nice home treadmill. I'm gonna be setting up here in my bedroom where there's plenty of space. I'm gonna showcase the different use cases for it, not just for walking and running. You can also use it as an under desk folding treadmill when you do have a standing desk and various other features which I think you're really going to like. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's take the box out. Now this treadmill is quite heavy, so I do recommend maybe two people helping you set it up for the first time, but it does have wheels and I will showcase how easy it is to move around once I do have it set up. Let's go ahead and just take it out of the box. It is completely ready-made, so you don't need to assemble anything. There is an accessories box in there with the power plug and all of the other little pieces, which I'm gonna showcase in a second. Let's put this down and I'll take this bit off. And there we go. The treadmill is ready made. It's pretty much ready to set up straight away. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories box and see what comes in that. So in the box, you have the power plug, you have a couple of lubricant oils, you have the red safety belt clip, a couple of bolts and screws with some Allen keys. You have a remote control. So I'm gonna showcase what you can do with this as well. Most likely this will be to adjust the speed when you are running. You have yourself the user manual and this is the phone mount to put your phone on top of when you are running on the treadmill. And then you've got a couple of the handlebars that will go onto the folding handle itself just on the sides. So let's go ahead and put all of these things together and showcase the specs and how the treadmill looks. Now to lift the handle, you have a silver lock handle just here on the right hand side. Flip this open and then you can very easily just lift it all the way to the end and then you lock this backwards up towards the handle and it's very sturdy and it's now locked in place. The next step would be to remove these little clips on the front and the back of the handles so that you can screw on the side handles for when you wanna grip onto something when using the treadmill. That's where you need to use these screws that come inside the box, the very large ones, so there are four of them. So you take the handle, you can see there's some screws in there that will fit into here. Slot this in. You've got the Allen keys to help you tighten them in to place. And finally, the phone bracket, slot that just there in the top. You've got these screws, just put them in both sides. It comes with the screwdriver and an Allen key joint together, but you can use your own screwdriver if you'd like. And this is very quick and easy to do as well. There you go. And actually when you do use your phone, this actually has a clamp. So depending on the size of your phone, you can lock it in its place. So when you are running at high speeds, it doesn't shake and it won't fall off, which I think is a very nice design. Okay, so everything is now set up. One thing to note is if you don't have that red safety clip attached to the magnetic underneath the handlebar there, the treadmill won't work. So that needs to be connected at all times. One of the new things about this treadmill with the Treadmill Pro compared to the standard edition is that there's a new LCD digital display here. On the left-hand side, you can see this is your step count. You've got a few buttons there, pretty self-explanatory what they do. You've got a timer, but this cycles between the time and the distance that you've traveled. And also it can show you the speed. Then you've got some metric bars here on the right-hand side which shows your level and intensity depending on how fast you're going throughout the period of your run or your walk. 
When the treadmill is unfolded and the handlebars are connected there at the top like this, this will go into running mode. When you collapse the handlebars and fold this treadmill, this goes into walking mode, which means if you do use it when it is folded, it can't go more than four kilometers per hour because that is the max speed for walking. One thing I would say is that the cable for the power is 1.2 meters long. So that's something to be wary of if you don't have a plug socket that's too close by it to where you want to place the treadmill because it is not a very long cable, but you can always use an extension lead to get you the power at any distance you'd like. In terms of the belt of the treadmill, this actually is a five ply belt structure. And what that means is it has a high strength support layer, which is kind of shock absorbing for putting less pressure on your knees, especially when you are running at faster speeds. It has a compression layer in between and it is sound insulating as well. So you won't get any disturbance of people in rooms that are underneath or next door. This is also water resistant surface, so it's quite good to absorb any sweat maybe coming off of you or if you're drinking water and it spills onto the belt, then it should be absolutely fine to continue running as normal. Bluetooth mode. Now you heard a confirmation, this goes into Bluetooth pairing mode because this has an inbuilt speaker. So you can connect this to your phone and play some music back directly from the treadmill. You don't need to worry about using headphones or getting other speakers nearby and connecting that to your phone. This display can cycle between the distance, the time and the speed. And you can use the remote control to control the speed as well, which I think is more convenient than using the buttons on the handlebars themselves. You can also turn the treadmill on and off using the remote control, which is a very quick way to do it. But you have all of the relevant buttons here. Let's go ahead and hit start. It gives you a three second timer. Starts at one kilometer per hour. And you guys can probably not hear. This is very quiet. It's so silent that anyone in the rooms opposite or below me are not going to be disturbed by me using this. Now, of course, this is pretty slow. I'm gonna speed this up and go all the way to 12 kilometers per hour, which is the fastest running speed of the treadmill and see how this sounds. If you do hold down the plus button instead of pressing it in increments, this will go faster to the 12 kilometer mark and it'll go in increments of two. There we go. Let it build up to the fastest speed. And for me, that's not too bad. It's pretty quiet. I've got it laid out on carpets as well. So you may feel it might be a little bit noisier, a little bit shaky if you do have hardwood floors. But I always recommend if you do have some padding, some mats or some carpets to always place a treadmill like this on top of that. Whilst the treadmill is running at one kilometers per hour, I'm now going to play a song via Spotify to test out the quality of the speakers. I've got a song ready to play. This comes up as eSync audio on your Bluetooth settings. So let's go ahead and see how the quality of the speaker is inbuilt into the treadmill. For me personally, the audio quality is pretty decent and it does go very loud. It doesn't have any bass or subwoofers inbuilt into this like you would get maybe in more high-end speakers if you do have them around the house. And I think if you don't want to put your headphones in and you don't have any other speakers around with you, if you are alone, then maybe using the Bluetooth speakers on this would be a great idea. But again, that would be personal preference. Now let's look at one of the key features which I really like that the previous Mobvoi treadmill can't do is the addition of virtual running trails that you can use connected via Bluetooth. This one is the Zwift app. This has multiple different running trails and you can use various different types of preset workouts, which I think is great. And this one I've connected and created my own little avatar, which is that person there. It won't start running on this virtual trail unless I actually start the treadmill myself. 
And I think this is really great because it gives you indications of when you should speed up, when you should start running, when you should slow down, and you can set your own personal goals and just follow this. This makes it a little bit more interactive than maybe just staring at like a wall or a TV and watching your shows in the background. It makes it feel like you're part of a community that is actually running. So if I'm gonna increase the speed now, you'll see I'll start walking on the app. I'll hit start. So I'll speed it up a little bit. And you can see I'm starting to move. It gives you instructions on the screen as well. And this will also tell me within this 20 minute workout that I've set when I should start running, when I should speed up. And this is connected via Bluetooth. So you can see my speed on this treadmill is three kilometers per hour. And you'll see that's listed directly there because it has connected and detected this Bluetooth treadmill. So now if I go to four kilometers per hour, you'll see in real time how the app connects to the speed, much like the digital display on the Treadmill Pro. And now let's start jogging. So just brought it back down to two kilometers per hour. Having a Bluetooth connected treadmill, which you can have virtual trail apps connected with you whilst you're running. I think that's just a really good feature to have, especially at the price range of this treadmill pro. So I'm super happy with this. It's not only the Zwift app, you can also use Kino map. And I'm sure there's various other trail apps that you can use to connect this treadmill via Bluetooth and set up your own profile and track your workouts that way. So for me, that is a big win. Okay, so let's move on to one of the biggest pro features of this treadmill is the ability to connect to your Android smartwatch. So I have here the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra and I'm gonna be connecting this watch to the Mobvoi treadmill. One thing you have to remember is you have to download the Mobvoi treadmill app on your smartwatch using the Google Play Store. I have it downloaded. It was very quick and easy to connect and I'm just gonna open up the app. The treadmill is on. You can use this with pretty much any Android smartwatch as long as it has the Play Store installed. If you go down, you've got the Mobvoi treadmill app. Select this, it will go connecting. For me, I've connected it already previously and it's connected straight away. The first time you do it, you select connect and then it will come up with the Mobvoi treadmill via Bluetooth search and then you're ready to use. You can see I've done a quick test. Here you'll find your record of all of your previous walks and runs on the watch itself. And now I'm going to start using it by using the watch. And you're probably wondering as well, why can't you just use the standard fitness tracking on any of your smartwatches to when you are running on a treadmill? Now that's a great question. One of the reasons why you should ideally connect it with the Mobvoil treadmill app is so you can get the most accurate metrics from what you're actually doing on the treadmill directly from the treadmill itself. For instance, sometimes when you are running on your treadmill, you wanna stop for a little bit and you stand to the sides the treadmill will keep running and the timer keeps running. Because the sensors on this treadmill itself, it basically stops calculating the distance and the time when you are stepping off of it. That will also happen on your watch in real time. So if you step off, the timer gets paused on your watch as well as the treadmill. And in addition, when you are running on it and you just slow down and you're walking, if you hold on to the handrails on the side, your arm is actually not moving and some watches will detect that as non-movement, but you're actually making steps. That will continue adding steps to your watch because it recognizes you are still walking even though your arm is not moving and you're just holding it there steady. So what I'm gonna do now is over the next four or five days, I'm gonna be using this treadmill to get my steps, my runs, my warm-ups, everything done. And I wanna showcase to you guys how it looks on the Wear OS app, which I've actually installed on my iPhone. So you don't necessarily need to have an Android phone to have the Wear OS app. You can have it on an iPhone if you'd like. Just make sure you do have an Android watch to download the Mobvoi Treadmill app on the App Store. And I'm gonna show you the data that it can be collected by using the watch itself and using accurate metrics directly from this. So let's go ahead 
spend the next week doing that and I'll showcase to you guys how that looks. Okay, so I've used this for many days now, as you guys saw, and I'm really happy with this. One thing I really like about it is when you use your remote control to start the treadmill, this automatically starts the workout on your Android watch using the Mobvoi treadmill app. As soon as you stop the treadmill with the remote or with the buttons on the treadmill itself, it actually stops the workout on the watch itself. So you don't have to start and stop in both places like you have to do if you just do it in a very traditional way. So I think that's a very nice touch as well because everything will just stay connected. Now I just wanted to go into the Mobvoi app and showcase to you guys how the metrics look for the past five days. So let me go ahead and open this up. So you can see by default, it will show you the day's view, how much exercise you've done that day. And you can see everything is clearly tracked and you can see everything between the number of steps, how much exercise you've done in the amount of time and the amount of active hours you've spent. Right at the bottom, you can see it shows the distance and the calories. If you wanna take a look at any other specific days, you can cycle back and then just take a look at the metrics of that day. One thing I like to see is how much exercise I've done in a week period by the end of the week. So if you switch over to the week tab, this shows you very nice graphs of how much your activity was, where you maybe slow down a little bit, where your peak was, and it allows you to maybe motivate yourself for when you wanna start tracking your exercises for the following week, what type of thresholds you want to aim for. So I think this is a very nice app just to see everything so clearly. You can cycle by week, you can even cycle by month once you're using this for very long term. And it just makes things so much easier and so much accurate when you are a type of person that really wants to get the best metrics for your treadmill exercises. So that's everything I wanted to showcase to you guys. There's a couple more things I just wanna wrap up with before I end the video. One thing you might want to know is how portable it is to move this around the room with the wheels on the back. So I'm just gonna move this around a little bit and see how easy it is to move it around, especially on carpet. If you do it on hard floors, it'll be even easier. So let's go ahead and just shift this around and showcase to you guys, it's not that heavy and it is very portable. Now, although the treadmill itself might seem quite heavy, to move it around with the wheels is actually very easy. I'm not even putting too much pressure on it and I can actually, drag it around quite easily if you push it forward. Minimal effort. And you can twist it and just place it down very easily. So simple to do. So one thing I want to now show you is if you did want to use this as a folded treadmill and use it under a standing desk, how would that look? So let me set that up with my standing desk and showcase to you guys one of that as a scenario. One thing I would say is if you are going to fold this and unfold this very regularly, you have to bear in mind that every time you want to do that, grab your Allen key, you're going to have to unscrew these handrails and also the phone mount, and you're gonna to have to take these off every time and then put them back on every time when you want to bring it back up into full position. So if you may be going to do this every day, it might be a little bit of a hassle, but if you're the type of person that maybe will just do that once in a while, not very often, then that's absolutely fine. It's quick and easy to take it off, but just bear that in mind, if you do want to maybe actively fold it and unfold it pretty much every single day, then this could be you know, quite tedious. So let's go ahead and do that. I see myself maybe just setting this up in a kind of more of a semi-permanent position. So for me, that's not an issue. So I'll take all of these bits off and I'll place it directly underneath this desk. Okay, now I folded the handrail down. I've got the treadmill underneath my desk. One thing to remember, you still need to have the red safety clip just there attached at the back. Otherwise the treadmill won't work. It will just show an error. So let's go ahead. Let's raise the standing desk. I've got my remote control ready. So here we go. And now I can start getting steps by just using it in a folded view. So I'll just start the treadmill. I'll go up to speed two maybe. And then I can very comfortably get my work done. 
This is one of those situations whereby if you do connect using the Mobvoi treadmill app on your smartwatch, because your hand is resting here, if you just use a traditional fitness tracking app, maybe the one that's inbuilt into your smartwatch, it might not track that you're doing steps because your arms are, you know, maybe on your computer keyboard, laptop, or just resting on the desk, but you are actually getting steps. So that's another scenario and another reason why having the Mobvoi treadmill app on your smartwatch is even more accurate for doing things like this. And when you're finished, you just stop and then you can turn the treadmill off. The watch itself will stop recording if it is connected to the treadmill itself. So that's everything I wanted to showcase to you guys. I'm very happy with this. It's packed with a lot of features. Check out the link in the description below. You can buy this on Amazon. The recommended retail price is around 430 pounds, but they run discount codes and offers from time to time. So you can get it cheaper. Check out all of the latest information in the description in case there is a price reduction. If you guys have any other questions about this treadmill, as always, drop a comment down below. Make sure to check out their website. They've got all the information you need and make sure to subscribe. I have new reviews out every week with really cool gadgets, much like this one. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.